and action. Alejandro wanted to do a really innovative, artistic endeavor. For me, the project kind of begins and ends with the filmmaker, so this is, to me, all about working with Alejandro Gonzalez and Yeti too. Alejandro is one of the most audacious and crazily brilliant and inspired filmmakers working today, I think. When you're in that company, once that ship leaves the harbor, there ain't no coming back, and you don't want to come back. Good. Let's do one more. Yeah. I think it was very good. It was by far my most challenging project, but at the same time, the most fun. Alejandro, given his past movies, there's no comedic element in any of them, really. So I think he just kind of decided to do a comedy. I just want to give you a range. Oh! It's a comedy, but it's very, it's a very dark comedy. It's very much about the human condition. This play, it's like it just keeps following me around and like oh. hitting me in the balls with a, like a tiny little hammer. I'm sorry, what was the question? Never mind. It's a continuous point of view with no end. I wanted the audience to be navigating in the labyrinth of what he is going through. This is about being respected and validated. Remember, that's what you told me. I think I can label the genre it is. I think it, it navigates through drama and comedy. Zippers down. Alejandro can't do anything halfway, so he decided, I'm gonna direct my first comedy, but I'm also gonna do the entire thing in one shot, so. Visually, he was trying to do something that was incredibly exciting, which was create literal interconnectedness. Everything was absolutely meticulously prepared, and every step, every word, every camera move, Every single thing we have to really rehearse. I think audiences ultimately crave things that feel new and different. So it's exciting to do something that offers that. I try to be truthful and, and honest with performances and the emotions and the things that are happening. I've never met a director that is so tuned in to his actors that he is able to tell you when you got into your head and he was very encouraging of us feeding into it details from our own understandings of these worlds of film and theater. What's going on? He's incredible. Yeah. I've never seen anything like I think that he's in my life. Real life. Gin. What? He's just so smart. He's someone that you can easily trust. I think he's just got brilliant instincts. Beautiful. Yeah. Cut. 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 Wow, that was great. It was always about the project, about the movie, about the story, about the people, about it being really good and really being heartfelt and really meaning something. So it's exhilarating to be around someone like that, and that seldom happens. In this film, there's a meta-reality that is speaking all the time, kind of a exploration of our own things, and almost like a therapy. You're a movie star, man. They're waiting for something huge. We'll give it to them.